But before we go any further, I want to quickly focus on a difference in the levels of safaris. Because there is a difference between, in people's minds, five-star accommodation and a five-star experience. And in Africa, there is a difference. Your five-star accommodation will almost always come with a five-star experience. And what I mean by that is five-star guiding, five-star meals, etc., etc. Now, if you don't want five-star accommodation, people often choose three-star accommodation. But unfortunately, what they get is three-star guiding, three-star meals, and three-star knowledge along with it. If you don't want that five-star accommodation, you want to maintain your budget, we can organise the three-star accommodation. But it is important that you still get the high level of guiding. This is where the differences come in. For example, Kruger National Park. This is in South Africa, right on the border of Mozambique. It's a very big national park, roughly the size of Israel, to give you some perspective. It's very convenient to get to from Johannesburg. There's a lot of animals in the national park. Unfortunately, the experience doesn't always match up to people's expectations. For example, the National Park is the National Park. You're not allowed to leave the road, and the road through Kruger National Park is sealed, a tarmac road. People arrive in Kruger National Park expecting East African savannah, big flat plains. Unfortunately, this is Southern Africa. The bushveld down here is very thick, very scrubby, which means that as you're driving along this road, which looks a bit like a highway, if there are lions 30 metres to the left, you're not going to see them in the thick scrub, and essentially you might drive right past them. If you do see an animal, it will be by the road, or by one of the watering holes to stop at. And unfortunately, the other 15 jeeps that are there as well will see it, and you end up with what's called a jeep jam, which is a group of jeeps crowded around the animal. This isn't the experience people expected from a big name like Kruger. What they're thinking of is Greater Kruger, or Kruger Private Concessions. These are parcels of land that adjoin Kruger. In fact, it's the same animals. There's no fences between them. The fence line may be something as simple as a dry riverbed, or an old dusty track. The difference is here is this is private concession land, meaning the lodges that are on this land essentially own that land. So as the animals come into their land, they can track the animals to 30 metres away and then drive off the road and follow the animals through the trees, around the bushes and park next to, say, the lion or the leopard. It's that very close, intimate experience with the animals that people want. As another major difference, these lodges also have their own rules about sizing and group numbers. Meaning, if you have a lion kill, for example, with a lion has just killed an impala or a zebra, there'd be a maximum of two vehicles per sighting. This is very important. You want to have that feeling of you amongst nature, not with six other jeeps full of tourists taking photos. This is what I mean about the five-star experience versus the three-star experience. A combination experience can be a little bit different. Another example, just to put in perspective, is the Okavango Delta. Now, the Okavango Delta is a massive inland flooded desert. And when it's flooded, it's twice the size of Melbourne. Now, the higher five-star experience trips will take you into the heart of the delta, the CBD, as it were, where the animals tend to congregate. When it's a dry country and the water is around, the animals go to where the water is the densest. So these trips will be in the centre of it, where you're surrounded by animals and having that amazing experience. The cheaper trips will take you to the outskirts of it. In fact, often, you'll catch a canoe in so you're on the outskirts of the delta, you take a one hour canoe ride in, camp overnight, and generally don't see too much. If you picture an area twice the size of Melbourne, and you have the option of flying into the centre to see the animals, or having a canoe ride for an hour from the outskirts, you can see the difference of experience. Most people don't know these differences, and that's where it's important for you to know them and pass them on to your clients. Not only will it guarantee them a better trip, but make you look like a bit of a legend. If you know these sort of things, five star experience and value for money, then guarantee your clients will have a great trip.